It's Wednesday, it's time for our first look, and today we are taking a look at Sunday Swap, the decentralized trading protocol on Cardano. Think Uniswap, think DEX, think AMM. That's the one, it's the first one on Cardano, so this should be exciting. But we're going to dig back into something that happened last week. I went on Real Vision with Cami and Elaine Lee to talk about all sorts of different things, but we just talked specifically about Sunday Swap. And in the comments, we saw this. Sorry, bro, don't say that Sunday Swap is a Uniswap fork. You cannot do this in Cardano since it's not EVM compatible. It makes you look like a lousy hater. So yeah, I gave a bit of a hot take on Sunday Swap. I said it was easy to make a Uniswap clone and that this should be something that would be expected. And I, I basically just looking for more for, from Cardano with these smart contracts with Alonzo. And more, <clears throat> more comments below, not the greatest prep or follow up on subjects, sorry. Then Stumpert says, don't get me wrong, Cardano deserves critique, but you guys come across fairly ignorant. You are unaware that there's been a quite lively NFT market on Cardano for three quarters of a year. We reached out to them to come on our NFT show yesterday, uh, to the last couple of days. Uh, didn't hear anything back. Okay. Uh, and then he says, making a Uniswap like DEX on Plutus slash Haskell and EUTXO model is easy. Come on, look like you know something about what you're talking about. So I, look, you know, I admit it, it was a bit of a hot take, but I actually do know what I'm talking about. I dug in. And I wanted to give Sunday Swap a fair shake. So that's what we're going to do today. And we'll dig into all of that directly after these messages from our sponsors. Scamwix, insider order books, cascading liquidations. Suffer these compromises no longer when trading crypto futures. Enter GMX, a futures and swaps decks with low swap fees and zero price impact trades. Aggregated high quality price feeds provide fair liquidations and pricing. GMX is available on Arbitrum and now Avalanche. Trade BTC, ETH, AvaX, and more securely from your wallet with up to 30 times leverage. GMX is mobile and desktop native, including limit orders and stop losses. Visit gmx.io today to start trading, learn about high yield opportunities, and discover the Blueberry community. So here's a fun fact. In 2021, Ethereum traders lost over $200 million to malicious bots exploiting their trades. As DeFi continues to gain popularity, this number, well, it's expected to rise. Eden Network is a next generation private transaction service for Ethereum, providing traders with MEV protection by submitting transactions directly to miners and away from the prying eyes of harmful bots. They can see me. Using Eden Network for Ethereum transactions results in better and safer trades. While MEV protection doesn't require any stake, traders who do stake Eden and use the Eden RPC on MetaMask receive transaction block priority, and now with the release of Staker Extractable Value, SEV, they're paid for every trade they make on Ethereum. Eden Network recently launched Eden Rocket RPC, which compiles some of Ethereum's fastest private transaction networks, resulting in 90% plus effective hash rate. This makes Eden Rocket RPC the fastest private transaction network available, protecting you from bots. Launched on August 5th with EIP-1559, Eden Network successfully closed a $17.4 million seed round led by Multicoin Capital with participation from Alameda Research, Jump Capital, Wintermute, GSR, and Defiance Capital. Genesis Capital executive Joshua Lim and Andre Cronier of Yearn Finance also participated as angel investors. Join the best and get started with Eden Network today and trade safer. So Sunday Swap is the first DEX on Cardano. DEXs are important. DeFi doesn't exist without DEXs. And DeFi needs capital to flow around. And Cardano's basically big draw to date has been staking. Staking is like constipation. It locks up capital and prevents it from doing anything. But it's earning rewards, la -di la -di da wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. DeFi needs stuff to be fluid and liquid and flow around. And DEXs are a way to make that happen. So a DEX is the starting point, is the catalyst for DeFi, therefore really important. This is the blog article from January the 15th announcing the imminent launch of Sunday Swap, and then on January the 20th, six days ago, just about a week ago, it launched. And it should have been a wonderful, wonderful occasion. But it wasn't. So what I find weird about this is if you go to the documentation and go to Getting Started, if you scroll down, you find five articles specifically addressing FUD and ideas like Cardano is limited to one transaction per block, that our Cardano is going to grind to a halt when dApps begin to roll out, that Cardano is a ghost chain, that concurrency and contention issues are unsolvable. Like these poor guys, they're having to, to write articles specifically to address FUD. So where is this FUD coming from? Well, yeah. 
Well, we'll get into that. Sunday Swap is, like I said, it's the kind of Uniswap of Cardano. They have a native utility token, Sunday, which apparently is central to the healthy operation of the DEX, represents voting power, all the stuff that you should be familiar with. The thing about Cardano is it's not EVM compatible. It's built on a smart contract language called Plutus. So it's a bit different, a bit. It's a, a lot different to building on Ethereum. Um, I had a conversation with Andre Cronier yesterday, and he told me that when Phantom was, was designing their smart contract language, he argued very, very loudly that it should be EVM compatible because he said, what you need is developers to come and build on the chain. Cardano didn't go that route. They said, we know a better system, so they created one. And that has created a headache for teams looking to build on them. Sunday Swap very bravely set out to build this DEX. And, well, they'll take the shit that comes with it if it doesn't work. So the problem here is that Cardano is using EUTXO. And if you don't know what a UTXO is, don't worry. Um, it's about unspent transaction outputs which refers to the amount of digital currency someone has left remaining after executing a cryptocurrency transaction. Um, you don't really need to understand what that means, but in the context of this contention and concurrency issue, the FUD around it seems to stem from the fact that in a testnet simulation, it was very, very difficult to get more than one user using the same smart contract at the same time, hence concurrency. And contention issues are about clogging up the network, uh, which you would have hoped when it all went live wasn't a problem, but we'll get into that. So if you want to use Sunday Swap, where do you go? Well, you're going to need um, a wallet. So we can have a look. Oh, I'm just going to disconnect from that for now. So the wallets that we have available, the NAMI wallet and the CC Vault wallet. So NAMI looks like this. You can add it as a widget to your Brave Chrome Edge browser. Very, very nice. Uh, the other one, CC Vault, I, I didn't really look into that too deeply, but NAMI, NAMI looks like it would work. I have NAMI installed, and that's how you're going to connect to the... There we go. Interesting enough, there were some terms and conditions I had to sign there as well. Not used to seeing that on a, on a DEX, to be honest. Um, wonder what that means. So we can go to home. Bear in mind, this is a beta. So here we've got some farms. Uh, there's a swap functionality, there's liquidity. What's interesting, though, is like you can't actually interact with Cardano unless you do one thing. So if we go to the NAMI wallet, click on this little robot here, you'll see this, collateral. So in order to actually interact with smart contracts on Cardano, you have to add collateral, which is five ARDA. How much is an ARDA right now? One dollar. So that's five bucks. No biggie. And if basically, the, the collateral is there to ensure that even if a transaction fails, validators get paid. And as far as I understand it, it's basically a mechanism for weeding out bad actors. It's a mechanism for making sure that people act the way they should do and they don't spam the network and that kind of thing. Uh, it gets quite complicated. I'm not sure I feel confident enough to get into all of that right now. But um, I sent some Cardano to my my NAMI wallet using Chain Jelly. So you send ETH and it comes back as ARDA. It took a really long time and there might be a reason for that. So if we jump into the swap side here, if we wanted to, to perform a swap right now, there's a disclaimer. Important note is the network is extremely congested at the moment. Swaps may fail or not go through until congestion decreases. Please be patient. Please be patient? Huh? What? So... I had a look around, and it turns out that there's been some issues here, big issues. So someone's raining coffee here saying, I tried to use Sunday Swap to get an altcoin on ADA, but five days after my swap is still pending in the backlog. Um, wow, goodness me. It doesn't look good. Uh, Sunday Swap CEO Matty Motivev posted a message that read, if your order is on chain, it will be processed. Orders are failing due to congestion. Please be patient. We want to inform you that while orders may take days to process, everybody's orders will be processed fairly and in the order they were received. Yowzers, a few days to process. So look, I have to bear in mind here, this is not Sunday Swap's fault. They built a DEX on a chain that doesn't work. And it's a chain that's designed to work under load. 
here is load, doesn't work. I really don't want to pour any more um, FUD on Sunday Salt because it's not their fault. This is the fault of the Cardano blockchain it is built on. And if there's fault, well, maybe they shouldn't have built on Cardano. But I think we need to be perfectly honest here. This is the chain that's ranked number six by market cap. This is the chain that we're repeatedly told has the answers to everything, to scaling that is peer reviewed, that it is just a gleaming monument to engineering perfection, but it's not. And I sympathize because when we were at Harmony, we took shit from people because the chain went down, we had issues. And like once you put something in real world conditions, then it will break, yeah, obviously. But Cardano's whole thing has been slow and steady wins the race. Mark, measure twice, cut once. That's what they say. It should work. And I think that's what test nets are for. I don't know. I just don't get it. So I'm trying to give them a fair shake. And I, again, I, like I said, I don't blame Sunday Sort for this. It's not their fault. It just, like, I don't even want to use it. I don't want to uh, initiate a swap because I don't want to have my funds lost for two days. Why on earth would I volunteer to do that? I'm not going to use it. So they've got some work to do. Cardano have got some work to do. And I remain a skeptic. I wish I didn't. I mean, I would love to see all that value that's locked up in staking unleashed to power DeFi on this ecosystem. But to be honest with you, right now, it ain't ready. So that's it for today. That's Sunday Swap. I wish them all the best. I still remain totally unconvinced by Cardano, but I'm keeping an open mind. And in answer to those comments on that YouTube video, I did my homework. I do know what I'm talking about. And I hope that you can see that we're not full of BS. And if there's BS, we call it. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, drop us a bell, drop us a ding, drop us, I don't know, drop something. Preferably not on your foot. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.